place so much. Um, even though I don't drink alcohol anymore, or drink coffee for that matter, although I got um, an oat milk chai latte while I was there, um, that place is incredible. It's a bar and a coffee shop and a bookstore. Like, what more could you want? It's open late. Um, I remember a few years ago, I, um, I was in there in November, and there were the little cards on all the tables that said, Welcome NaNoWriMo Writers, and I was thinking like, oh my gosh, I really wish that I was doing that. And um, so even though this year I'm very much stuck at home all the time, honestly, um, we specially arranged this time that I could go by myself to the bookstore and write. And um, it was just so incredible, such beautiful vibes. I hope that the video captures it, but I'm just so grateful to have gotten this time um, I wanted to have that experience at least once during this NaNoWriMo was like riding around other people who were writing and I suspect there were at least a handful of people that I saw in there that I was like, oh, I wonder if you're writing uh, your NaNoWriMo novel. <laughs> anyway, I only got about an hour and a half, but uh, I'll have to head home now and see how my baby boy is doing. So that's my life, but I was so grateful for this outing and I hope you enjoyed coming with me. Happy writing and I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is the day that my write-ins begin. So I'm doing live streamed NaNoWriMo write-ins, but you can work on anything. You don't have to write NaNoWriMo, but it'll basically be 20 minutes of work and then five minute break. And we'll do that for two hours. So it'll be a great time. I hope to see you there. Feel free to watch the replay if you can't make it. It is in the morning. You can um, check the time on my channel. I've got them all scheduled. So, oh, what a beautiful day. I'm, I love fall. This was so, this was so needed. All right. Happy writing.